What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. Today, uh, I got a lot of things I want to show you guys, but uh, we're going to start off with the most obvious and go to the least obvious, I guess. Uh, most obvious right now being this little farm right here. Uh, just making some finishing touches. I messed around with a few things before I got the actual thing correct. Uh, but what we have is we have uh, this Hya farm, and I think I'm going to have to make this into a two wide uh, open area. That way it looks a little more symmetrical, but even still kind of, I don't know. Um, what we've got here is actually an automatic reed farm. And uh, maybe at some point I'll do a tutorial on this, but uh, right now uh, I've gotten 10 sugar canes from it. I just installed it about oh 10 minutes ago so about once per minute um it'll produce a sugar cane which over quite a bit of time and uh this is about how much time i spend on these is uh you can see i get a lot especially right there i also installed a few more of these guys so we've got lots of uh potential for uh getting more of those in the works I'm going to go ahead and wreck this. Uh, also been doing some work on... Oh, there it goes. I don't know what... Where the reed's at. Did it... Yep, already went in. Anyways. Um, so, anyways. I used my forge for the first time today. And I'd like to, to go down caving. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill every single one of these furnaces with um with full stacks of coal and uh, what I'm gonna do then is start to uh, smelt anything that I need to just throw it in the furnace and uh, the idea is that hopefully and actually what would be better now that I'm thinking about it I should have a hopper right next to it of course I think that goes to the top rather than the bottom which sucks anyways uh... other things i've been working on let me go ahead and do that other things i've been working on oh let's go to bed um... i have an arboretum set up i haven't been there in a while but it's been active so we'll see if the tree has grown and i'm going to show you guys a little bit of a experiment that i had going that unfortunately completely and utterly failed um, Really? Bet you they're up there. Alright, we'll move our bed. I've been wanting to put it up here anyways, away from the outside. Not up here, but uh over and up here. There we go. Perfect. Um I don't know if I'm gonna move it up here completely and totally permanently, but I would like to. Um, it'd be nice, as we talked about, I want to make that over there into a, uh, what do you call it? Sort of dining room type thing. Hi, guy. You're lucky duck, because I, right now, don't! You sucker. Got you. Okay. Um, first of all, note the trees uh, decided to go and throw down some trees and have them grow and all that stuff so that I could uh, have them out I guess and uh, da, 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 perfect beautiful this guy grew just fine uh, what I want to do this is the arboretum and it looks like it's gonna fit everything but the jungle tree which even that that might grow that's my next question this is my first if it fit this I'd be okay it's got one space left uh, and the next thing I'm gonna probably test is I'm gonna throw it on a jungle tree right there where is it I heard it Not a good idea, you dummy.
You guys hear that? Is it more this way? It knows, man. It knows. Is it closer into here? Yes. I need to dig out this area anyways, but... I wonder if it's down here. Hmm... Ah, anyways, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to find that. Um, so, if this works, that's going to be great. If it doesn't, um, I may lower it down a few more. But one of the things I want to do is I want to push it this way and push it this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to have lines of trees. So, I'm going to plant, I think I can get away with four away. So, it'll be one, two, three, four, uh, a huge row. And that's going to be all, let's say, birch. Then here, oak. Then here, pine. Then here, jungle. And over there will be dark oak. And then another row for acacia wood. Um, I'm not going to go with the big, big trees. But I want to have every type of wood. And I want to be able to sit here, harvest it. And I need a double chest full of saplings. A double chest, or each kind of sapling. And a double chest full of each kind of wood. That's the goal here. Um, sort of my goal coming into this was I want to get every type of item a double chest full which is not an easy task to do uh, I'm not gonna dig it out today even though I'm doing that sort of right now but what I do want to do is I want to show you guys a little experiment that I decided I was going to conduct off camera simply because I was pretty sure it was gonna fail um, but some of the results surprised me and I want to show you guys that I actually did find um, a farm for what I'm looking for uh, but it's not exactly as what I wanted so here we go I did a science experiment uh, using the scientific method I've um, got my control group right there uh, then my new flower and my old flower now back in the past I was pretty sure that you could grow um, flowers on their own whoa 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 I don't know what was up with that lag. Holy cow. Um, you could grow flowers. And I thought that's the way it was. And I looked it up on the wiki. And it said that they will grow. Within a five block radius. So I set up just like the mushroom farm. This flower. And I was hoping it would grow down. And all that stuff. Just like the mushroom. But apparently it doesn't. But. I was hoping that that would grow. And that I'd find that this grew, and I'd find that that grew. Now, the way this works is you go to a certain area, and you do the bone meal. Or if you want to do one of these, you go like this. You get all the pretty little flowers and all that stuff. You're good to go. I didn't want that. I wanted it to grow on my own. That way, I don't have to use bone meal. Um, but unfortunately, that's not the way it works. You have to do it the old-fashioned way. That being... Um, bone meal. Just bone meal. Sucks. Uh, but just to sort of explain for those of you guys that may not know what the scientific method is, you have a control group, and then you have your two um, other ones, and then there's something with the dependent and independent variable, blah, 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 blah. But uh, they're all in the same environment. Um, I was hoping, I thought, the reason why I made this the control group is because I thought it was going to grow. And that way I could know, okay, well, these two don't grow, but, yeah, none of them grew, so. <laughs> um, other thing I've wondered is, does this grow on its own? I don't know if it does or doesn't. I don't have bone meal, so I'm not going to mess around with it. That's sort of what I've done off camera, and uh, I haven't worked on the wheat farm yet, but i got a bunch of wheat seeds and some wheat. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do today was unlock those brown sheep. And uh, then we'll have every type of sheep, which sort of is an achievement in and of itself. And um, I also need to dedicate 
some of you guys, but I'm not going to do it in today's episode. So where did I put those cocoa beans? I don't know. So I made another batch of root beer today. I'll probably taste it on camera um, for you guys. That way you guys can see what I think of it. After I'm done filming this episode, I am totally organizing this area. Because it is an abomination. Uh, I thought for sure... Ah, here we go. I'm just going to let these grow right in here. And I need to take at least two. So, never mind these. Alright. And wheat. We've got wheat. Let's feed those buggers up there. Oh, this guy went again. See? And sometimes they get caught like that. I don't know exactly how to make it completely efficient. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, since it's automatic, it really doesn't matter. As long as they're producing reeds. I always call them reeds. They're sugarcane. I'm old school. What can I tell you? Back in my day. Alright. Boop. Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. Not good. Alright. Oh, come on. Dang thing. Okay. So, unfortunately... I can't color this guy unless he has. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get the baby. Kill off the daddy. Alright, there we go. And there we go. All fixed it. Okay. So, let's feed our sheep. And uh, I'm only going to do this a couple more times before I think I'm going to stop altogether feeding the sheep. Um, I should have set some sort of method for it, um, because honestly, oops, totally, totally, totally forgot to hit this button over here. Uh, I should have set some sort of method, like, uh, um, we have some sheep that are mixed up. Right in here, there's a magenta sheep in there. Oh, well. As long as it's a majority... Is not that way. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. You know, I could have done some, like, tick marks or something like that. Because they should have had... I should have said, like, okay, well, all of these have been fed. And I should have said, we'll feed them maybe five or six times. Um, because I, I really don't have the ability to to know how many times I've fed them. Did one of the sheep drown or something? Oh no, they're stuck in the ground. Okay. I see what's going on there. Okay. Yeah, they get pretty messed up after <laughs> you uh, feed them. Now, in here... Oh my goodness. You hear that sound like? That place is getting full... My goodness. What is up with all this cobble? I guess it made down from up there. Anyways. That's that. Let's go down here. It's been cold where I live. And, uh... Today was especially cold. And I don't know... I really don't know how I'm supposed to get warm when it's this cold because I get freezing. Right now I'm wearing three layers, two, well, three layers on my feet, two layers on my legs, three layers on my torso, and I've got my hood up. And I think I'm finally warm. <laughs> um, here's what I've been thinking for a table. 
and I want to know what you guys think about it. Um, because I haven't seen too many people do this, and I like unique builds. Um, if they are legitimately unique. So what I'm going to do is the way it works, this is going to be a, a 3, because... All you jokers with frickin' OCD are gonna scream at me if it's not. Uh, we're gonna do that. Okay. Some of you guys probably already see what I'm doing here. I wanna leave some room with that window because I wanna be able to sort of use that window. Okay. And then we're gonna put one here. Bloop. Okay. Now, from here, I'm gonna do this. Now, my hope is that it makes it look like it's a table with legs. And I'll be darned if that doesn't look good. Excellent. Most excellent. I like it. Looks sort of unique. It's flat. Looks like you can put your feet down here. Um, the only thing I'll say for this is that the table looks a little too big and once we put the chairs down it's going to look very very crowded but given the fact that we don't have much choice right now I'll keep it that way and we're going to put orange nope 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 now that I think of it I think this will do a lot better four chairs one two three four Oh, that doesn't look good. I don't know what does. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and one right there. That is going to be my picture. Uh, let's print screen. All right. Um, I'm going to add a chandelier, too. That would be nice, except for I don't want it to come down too much. I think I'm going a little bit long, but I think I think things are going well, and you guys, I hope, don't mind. So let's quickly, quickly, quickly make some fences, and let's put a chandelier up. Oh my god, my inventory. Hold on. That's what happens. That's what happens to my inventory, or my uh, storage becomes a jumbled mess. Alright. And boop. The other thing is, I don't want to search for fences, so I make a bunch of fences. Alright. So let's get just about in the middle, which would be right here. One up, one down, and then just like this. And then we put one torch on the top of each one. Okay. Take that out. Take that out. And just a few on one side of the table and the other. I like it. Um, now when I get into the nether again, I think I'm going to pull some fences and I think I'll use those fences, but for right now actually it looks really nice. I like this little dining room place, and we'll, we'll add some pictures on this side and that, and I think this will be a nice finished room. Um, maybe we'll add some placemats, carpets for placemats, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and until next time, happy mining and crafting. Oops.